Energy Manager walkthrough. I'm going to do a walkthrough of the video game Energy Manager. So I'm going to start with the upper left over here. It says account and you click on the dollar sign. You see you've got finance and you've got security. So with finance, this is going to show you your income and expenses uh, possibly for the last 24 hours and it's not really organized that well so you can't really um, see how you're progressing daily there's no graphs as to whether or not you're growing this is security there's a feature called a firewall if you don't have a firewall it can be a security risk I played for a month and there was no mention of any security breach and I was told that a plant can be shut down for many hours if you have a breach or maybe all your plants can be shut down the firewalls are really cheap scroll down to the bottom and you'll see this one is five days for nine thousand five hundred unfortunately you have to come back after five days and resubscribe and I don't know if it puts up a notice we'll get to that later these are points you earn points whenever you sell energy there's a random chance you're going to earn a certain amount of points and you can spend them on all of these items i recommend you use the cross grid license you're going to make a lot more money if you use cross grid discharging i don't recommend i don't really recommend any of the others although eventually you might want the power 2x or uh, this certificate down here and over here it allows you to purchase points but it's only allowed on a cell phone not on the PC version so over here you see we've got the total output this is really where you measure your performance uh, so this number here is going to tell you if all your plants are online and how much energy you're producing over here this is your co2 it shows you how much pollution you have in this case 26 grams see over here it says 26 grams you want to keep it under a hundred once you go over a hundred you lose your subsidy very easy to do to keep the subsidy so I recommend it so over here you have notifications you're gonna see demand has been depleted on some grids reduced by 50% I really just ignore it and obviously this is for internal mail over here you have some settings battery saving uh, game performance uh, reset your account these over here see I clicked on my company name it has my company it shows if I have uh, shares listed which I don't over here it says the total production is 90 um, that must be of all time this is a graph of your stock value this is a list of all of your power plants so I have 10 uh, oil units I've got five of this particular model of um, windmill and these are storage units I've got as you can see I have a lot of them which helps with the cross grid discharging this is achievements and I've completed half of them I would like to say that uh, they don't always work uh, I believe that there were some that I had completed like join or create an alliance it says not earned but I've been in like three different alliances already and then we have the high score which is the high score table what other people are doing and you can see that you got easy mode um, hydrogen etc and that I already looked at okay so over here we've got overlays I'm gonna zoom out for this so obviously the first one is going to be the grids that I own I own all those grids
The next one shows connections. This obviously shows the power plants. That shows storage units. This shows the wind speed. Unfortunately, when you zoom in, it doesn't increase the value. I'm sorry, the, it doesn't increase the font size. But you can see the wind speed over here. And it will show you a color purple where the wind is higher. So I was using wind power at the time. And I chose um, along the shore to put my wind mills where there was a lot of wind speed. This shows the additional hubs that you can buy. I'm sorry, the additional offices that you can buy in the future. And uh, I have no plans to buy any additional ones. So over here, you've got to pop out. This is going to list all the factories. You can bring them offline, bring them online. Shows you how many plants you have. If you, if some of them are offline and they need oil or coal, there's going to be a, a menu that says to if you want to refuel. It's a hidden menu. These are all the storage units. My advice is you set this at 100%. If you set it for 84, you might accidentally sell something at a low price. And you don't want all, you don't want to sell something at a low price. You want to put it at 100%. This allows you to sell everything. Hide inactive is referring to these down at the bottom. So you see, I got a lot more down here. Some of them are inactive, so I'm going to hide them. Over here, you can uh, sort by different measures. I recommend charge. This shows me that this one is uh, already full. You can see that the arrows are not visible on the left over here. That means this is ready to sell. So you can see this one's ready to sell. The value shows you the most valuable ones. I get over 3,000 all the time, and you can just go click right here. You're not going to get a better price than what you see right here. You can just click this button. You see it's 957,000. It's actually pretty good. And then pending, if you buy something and you are unable to build it because maybe you don't have any money to pay the fees, the construction fees. It will be listed over here as a pending unit. So over here we've got units. We've got storage. you got chemical, gravity. This, I believe, is hydrogen. Uh, this is obviously a large grid. And this is a feature that's not enabled yet. My recommendation is you should buy the chemical battery packs because they discharge faster. Only use the gravity one for your cross grid discharging. All these red dots over here are gravity just to get a price in those grids. Be aware that there is a capacity, there's a charging capacity for example, this concrete gravity storage has 2.5 megawatt. So that means two of the base fossil fuel plants um, would supply too much input, and so some of it would be wasted. So then we go into production. You've got the wind, which you're probably going to have to buy a lot of wind because it's a lot cheaper. Fossil, I'm going to tell you, because of a bug in the game, you're going to have trouble buying these fossil fuel plants. I was able to buy a lot of them. You can see on the screen, I do have a lot of them, but I wanted to buy a lot more, and it wouldn't allow me to buy them for more than a week. This is a nuclear power plant. You have to pay for the license. It's a little bit expensive. I don't have it. And the plants are very expensive, so you might have to wait a while. Solar is not available yet. And drilling is, <coughs> um, I don't use it yet because I don't have enough money to buy it, but hopefully I will soon.